say what you want about Mundane Matt, but he's done great things. Like this video where he got his silver play button. It will touch and warm your heart. You know numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope you didn't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. Each and every person who subscribed to your channel was touched was touched by what you did. <laughs> they were inspired or challenged. <laughs> You know, it's really interesting how far some people will go in order to get attention. Sometimes it's good, most of the time it's bad. Hey kids, it's me! Polly the Polar Bear, and I'm here to tell you a random word of the day. My word today is nigger. That's right, folks. I'm going to tell you about the word nigger. Now, these people are not ones you want to talk with. Now, these people, according to UrbanDictionary.com, are lazy, black, ignorant people who don't like to have jobs and usually tries to fuck the system. Now, most of them live in the hood and are dead, but for the ones that are alive, they like to get out there and rape the women. Douche chill. All right, everybody. This is Poli the Polar Bear for Random Word of the Day. I'll see you all later. Bye. <laughs> and we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with the silver play button. A small token of our esteem and her... <laughs> And respect. Oh. 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 oh my god. Stop! You know what's funny? If you look deep enough, you'll find that mundane Matt had more emotion getting the silver play button than he did when his child was born. Kind of funny stuff. Kind of gives you an idea of the guy you're dealing with. Many believe it's fake tears. So around five days ago, Twitter started blowing up, dude. Like, I was getting messages about mundane Matt. And I'm like, what did this dude do? Because it had to be fucking huge for so much of the YouTube community to turn on him like piranha in like an instant on Twitter. Unfortunately, I was doing far more important things like getting drunk on the floor, checking my Twitter. You know, just in case I got famous enough for chicks to like, you know, follow me like, oh my God, it's Gundam. Oh my God, it's so hot. Oh. <laughs> is that, does that work? Here she's got a cocaine problem. <laughs> I don't. I just like the way it smells. So I check out what mundane Matt's up to. And at the time, a podcast had just ended with Mr. Medicare, uh, the Quarterling, and Keemstar, everybody's favorite gnome. Somehow, while I'm watching the stream, there's like a quick snip of Matt's desktop, and you see all the people he flagged. I'm like, Oh shit, he's fucking done, dude. He's dead. It's like the fucking Sopranos. Like he spilt the wrong information and it was over. It's like he's dead and didn't even know it. Look at all those tabs. I have a lot of tabs open, but I have I is is that that with YouTube demonetizing independent media, please consider installing fucking ad block. Mundane Matt got my YouTube and Twitter flagged, so I'm stealing his stick, and I'll do it better. No soy, no fat, no filler. Mundane Matt has announced she's transitioning to become who she really is inside. Mundane Matt is no more. Now is Mundane Matilda. Matt is a false father. Is the show that's quickly becoming the most popular show on YouTube that features Mundane Matt. It's the Soyless Matt, Matt Show. show. But nothing, oh, but nothing on. Now, wait a minute. Nothing that's on that. That's video. Just, what that's, the that's, fuck? So, <laughs> I have been in a not the best place mentally. And now, wait a minute. Oh, Matt, oh, okay. no. <laughs> Matt, no. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's... That's wait, it. No, no, I, Dude, I, wait. I, no, no, wait, wait a minute. Back. Cut oh, back. Bro. No. He fucking okay, lied to on. us. He no. lied to Dude, no, what? He lied straight to our face. He lied straight to our fucking face. For an hour. No. <laughs> <laughs> he 
they're spinning and deflecting the entire fucking no! time. No! It's about, about Dane no, Matt! Matt! I, I've, it's because... Matt, no, Matt! That's Matt. my bet. Like, that's my bet. Matt. I admit fault on Matt. that one. Like, Matt. literally, I admit fault on that one. No, that's, Matt. That's, that's me. No, come on, dude. Just, just, just... Uh, I'm sorry, but look, dude, at the history of the <laughs> screenshot, the right? The history of the <laughs> screenshot, what we saw was we saw <laughs> anybody making a video talking shit about Woo! Matt Mundane getting flagged by Matt Mundane or whatever there the you fuck go. your name yep. is. But, yeah, but, we can uh, but, but if you saw... Don't the fuck me, motherfucker. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Guilty. Case that closed. That is on me. I'm, I have made... Case closed. If somebody so. cries about Matt Mundane or whatever the fuck your name is, you flag them. Case closed. There was Not... more there. You didn't scroll. There was, no, more. There was yeah. more. There was more. Anyway. Like, How does he look? Yeah, what, do you, what do you mean by that? What do you he looks like a 40-year-old Chipotle manager. And he's not even like the general manager. He's like... He's the kitchen manager. He's cook, yeah. yeah, like he, he works the grill in the back, but he thinks he's like a big deal. And he probably does like meth, but like on the low. There's like a golden rule for all of us in YouTube. If you got a YouTube channel, you don't false flag people for bullshit at all. It's like a no-no. It's the one rule we actually have. You know, honor among thieves, don't flag me. And Mundane Matt apparently flagged a lot of motherfuckers. And apparently he's been doing it for a long ass time too. And frankly, I don't have any sympathy for him, really. I don't. I, I guess it's because I was never a fan of his. I know he was in good with Richard Review Tech USA for a few years back before I started doing my YouTube channel. I just, he didn't, never click with me, and I was already on the outs of watching Rich's stuff. And I thought there was something off about him, and now I guess it's all been proven. I mean, fucking A, dude. What a kill move. Jesus Christ. You know, if that, I, man, he's fucked. He's truly fucked. If it was me, I wouldn't have been in there in the first place if I was doing this sort of stupid shit pretending that I wasn't doing it lying to everybody in the chat. He's basically completely destroyed himself. If he wasn't depressed before, he's gonna be after this shit said and done. Because from what I understand, he begs for people to pay for his Patreon, which is sad, really. And his channel's already fucked. I mean, it's been fucked for a while. He's actually got more views now than he did before the drama happened, so it's kind of doing him a favor in some respects. But the best part of it all is... Mundane Matt has been acting like nothing has happened for the past five fucking days. And that's the beautiful part. And if you check his comment sections, it's wonderful. He sits there and tries to act like it's cool, it's okay, it's not Matt. You have 2,700 dislikes, 400 likes. People are pissed. Still not gonna comment on the whole situation, huh? Even after Metacore and the Quarterly made videos, you do you, Matt, but you should seriously get off the internet and stop making videos. If you think your mental health is affecting you to the point of where you felt the need to do the things you did, you need to log off, spend time with your family, and get help. If Matt walked away from the internet, he wouldn't be making money, and YouTube is his job now. Or it always has been for God knows how long. I don't know why people make that jump. I mean, 150k subs? Oh, it's dropping. My bad. He was at 167 or more before the shit hit the fan. But point being, even at 100k subs, I would not be acting like YouTube was my main source of income. You gotta be fucking stupid. I mean, this would be the main source of income for me if I had like 60 million subscribers and my name was PewDiePie. <laughs> Matt is fucking done. And the sad thing is also, this is actually something that bothers me, sitting there and blaming it on depression. I don't know what the fuck is it with most people today when they fuck up and get caught for fucking up and their first move is to go, I'm in a really bad place right now. It's like that sort of thing you get from chicks and they're breaking up with you. You get that beginning sentence. It's not you, it's me. I'm in a really bad place right now. I've been suffering from depression. Like, nah, dude, this isn't how depression works. I've been in a mental ward. And that generally is, well, Nazi imagery, right? And I don't, I don't blame them. You know, when, when you look back on, on, on your past mistakes and you look back at, at uh, some stuff that you've maybe done that you're not proud of, Germany's in a very precarious position. Like for a split second, you know, he was talking about himself and he switched right to Germany. God, there's no point in watching his videos. They, they've been as boring as ever. The, the funniest thing he's done was the 100K video and the video called Monday Matt's a soy-filled bitch. 
which he had nothing to do with other than supplying the material where this like 19 year old chick just tears him a new asshole good god she was vicious oh this is a cold one when comments get more likes than your videos oh shit this person had a great one questioning chris another day another bunch of videos about an apology i'd be lying if i said i did not see that coming oh my god the people got jokes oh my god these comments are better than his videos like one day matt is pulling a hot chick a hot chick is a move where a woman who's attractive does something fucked up and if you're a guy you know about this like you're dating her and she does something fucked up to you or you know a guy who's dating some chick and she's hot and she does something fucked up and then she just acts like absolutely nothing happened Amaranth pulled the same tactic if you remember back when she got exposed for having a husband and for some reason her fan base didn't want to believe it you know i just don't understand maybe the people who follow her want to believe in the cookie monster and the tooth fairy and that amaranth would sleep with them we all have our dreams you know i i've always wanted to die in a bed full of hookers overdosed on viagra but that's just me and frankly that has nothing to do with the story at hand basically this is the end mundane matt was already on life support and he mistakenly pulled the plug on himself <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because it's funny yet sad. It's just like he has killed his own career, his own livelihood because he uses YouTube as his job. And now it's pretty much over because he doesn't have the clout to overcome this. Sitting and ignoring it is not going to make it better. In fact, people are just going to resent him even more. He probably doesn't know what the hell to do. He's probably freaking out inside. I suspect give it another week or so, he'll probably put out a video crying. And saying he's sorry and he's scared and please don't take away money from him or maybe he won't who the hell knows frankly it reminds me of justin timberlake's try me a river when timberland comes in and he starts going the damage is done so i guess i'd be leaving and that's what i'm about to do i'm the hell out of here i gotta go clean some airbrushes you know the whole spiel i can't actually give more shit than me especially in the age of apathy but if you so choose to feel free to follow me on all my social media platforms because the more of you that follow me, the louder my voice gets. Even though this isn't the greatest video, because it's more or less tragic. It's not as funny as it is tragic to see moronicism destroy itself. To see a man run around claiming to be, you know, for the people and free speech and shit and secretly going out of his way to get channels shut down. He had no problem with destroying YouTube for other people, so why should anybody feel any sympathy for him? Thank you.